Cheers and salutations. Welcome one and all to Chicago Reacts. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be sure to hit that ring bell notification. That way, all you beautiful people are made aware we upload new content upon our, that's right, you guessed it, YouTube channel. And today, we're going to ask a serious question. Can 10 idiot Australians survive America? Now, who is this from? Where is this from? It's from none other than the great leader himself, Martin Siddlepence, the frog who has clout, the man, the myth, the legend, the man who is able to survive so much and go through so much and still stand on top. That's right. We here at Chicago Reacts give a salute to and a huge welcome back to Martin Siddlepence. So can 10 idiots, can 10 idiots Australians survive in America? Well, then the answer is, my friend, I believe that they can. And you know what? We here at Chicago Reacts will never forget when Martin Siddlepants gave us a shout out on his YouTube channel in the description box below. And we just have to say this. We here at the Chicago Reacts Empire acknowledge and respect the frog where it has clout. And we we want we want no trouble with the frog until then. Let's get ready to enjoy this video. So grab yourself a tasty snack and a tasty beverage. And let's enjoy this video in a three. Two. And an Uno reverse card, we play. Hello again. Hey. Welcome back. <laughs> a few months ago, my friends and I had a most devilish idea. Mm. Go to the United States of America. Oh, you can't park there. Again. This idea was a good one, because it turns out America goes hard. In more ways than one, yeah! Join us today as me and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of my idiot friends embark on this grand adventure. Yes. Five days in Los Angeles. Pull over, asshole! Drive, Pull over, asshole. asshole! Two days in an Alpine lake house. Us two are <laughs> three days at the Grand Canyon. Good. And nine whole days in fabulous Las Vegas. Ah! So, <laughs> let us begin. <laughs> you keep on leading the way with that lettuce, man. You got it. Now try cabbage. I don't know why I said that. But before we begin, World of Tanks! That's Woo! right, mongrels! Oh. This video is sponsored by World of Tanks. Do you ever dream about becoming a tank? Do you want a tank? Do you find yourself daydreaming about the destruction of France? And do you. Uh, Tanks! World of Tanks! The greatest, most least expensive free tank game ever created. You can drive this, or this, or yes. even this. But, but, yeah. It's incredible. But yes. what, what can be better than the beautiful gift of life? Death! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Giant weapons, guns, hot steamy loads. I can assure you 75mm is well above average. And it can do it too. Download World of Tanks right now with the link in the description and use my special super secret, uber secret, ultra mega secret invite code COMBAT to claim a bunch of free stuff. New players get 250,000 credits, 7 days of premium access, 3 rental tanks for 10 battles each, by going through on T78 and Type 64, and the Cromwell <laughs> Sit up straighter, stop slouching you lazy fu- Existing players get 3 days premium, this funky camouflage, and a 7 day rental of this sick as fuck tank. Already have this sick as fuck tank? How about a little walking around money, huh? 100,000 credits of a walk and around money, you know what I'm saying? Click yeah. the Lincoln Park, I mean link in the description, and use code COMBAT and transform your stale, decrepit life. Thanks to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. Anyway. Day 1. Before we could do anything silly, we'd have to actually get to America. We had a few oh. options. Swim, dinghy, stow away on a cargo ship, flap Hey, going away on a cargo ship, I mean, that's, that's pretty economical. You know, just, uh... Make sure you got air holes and uh, make sure you got food and uh, a place where you can throw your poop out. I was, was hey, going by cargo ship, a okay. Our arms really, really hard, or buy airline tickets and fly there. If you want to be beta, fine. I guess you could take an airline ticket. We chose airline tickets because swiping your arms is very tiring. <laughs> so we all loaded up on a few different planes and began the very long, arduous journey to LAX. All ten of us. Martin, that's me, Tristan, Sydney, Kai, Arlo, Tim, Seamus, Simon, Harrison, and Nathan. Well. Let's see. All right. I'm rooting for Kai. You're number one. Simon, you're number two. And Tristan, you know what? Because you're wearing the Ninja Turtle shirt, you can never go wrong with the Ninja Turtles. 
All right, Kai, Tristan, Simon. These are our additional protagonists, and I believe in all of them. They will be heroes. They will step up, and they will lead the way, and they will inspire you, you, to be better. I'm rooting for them already, especially Kai. He's, his name starts with a K. My name starts with a K. And us three-letter name people got to stick together. Step aside, step aside, establishment. Three-letter names are taking over. That's the whole cast. Let's get to LA. On the flight over, Sydney went Unibomber mode and spent literally the entire flight playing blackjack. Cool. Tristan found a watch in the airport worth nearly $100,000. Yes, Tristan. And the face. Kai and Seamus got some early morning wakey-wakey beers. Kai, you did it. Well done with the beer. Nathan sent this rather silly text to the group chat. Tell him you saw Seamus put a ball in his bag. At the exact moment, Seamus gave his phone to airport staff. Resulting in Seamus getting grilled by security for about 20 minutes, and I got a great view of all the- That's gotta be very frightening. Please don't do that. <laughs> and don't do that in America. Don't. Places we would be go They're gonna go up the wazoo. And it won't be a fun up the wazoo either. Going on this trip. The desert, the lake, the mountains, and sunny Los Angeles. So, the first group arrived and went to collect the rental car. On foot, with their bags, on a walk that looks like this. No shuttle? For an hour. When there's a free shuttle. Well done, gents. Once they did get the car, they took it back to the Airbnb, unloaded their stuff, and came back to the airport to get me. Situation update. The traffic got worse. To our international audience, be it in the great nation of Australia, New Zealand, Old Zealand, North Korea, South Korea, West Korea, East Korea, Germania, Gaul, and everywhere else around the world. Even the island that is Great and Britain. Traffic in America is always going to suck, okay? I one time I had to pick up family members at O'Hare Airport, and I left, four, I left the house like four or five hours before the flight would arrive in, right? You know? If I didn't leave when I did... I wouldn't be there on time to pick them up because there's not only one, but two, but three car accidents, traffic, and a whole bunch of other BS going on. Traffic will always suck in America. So to my international audience, you heard it here from Chicago Reacts. Listen to me very carefully. Listen to me very carefully, you beautiful people. You are not prepared. So far, all was going to plan. But this was when I received a harrowing message. Mart, we wrote off the rental. Four hours in, and it was already so fucking over. <laughs> we lost Seamus. Seamus, no! Bruh. What happened to Seamus? Sydney has no reception, but he is so fun king sorry. <laughs> He is so fun, King Sorry. So, um, what actually happened to Seamus? Damn. Well, nothing. Yep. That's right. I got pranked. <laughs> With that complete Damn, fucking man. catastrophe averted, we continued back to the house. But on the way, I received a text from my agent. Okay. Hello, Mart. Okay. Would you like to come to a cool party? Oh, uh, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm just landing with all my friends. There's free Ooh. drinks. Mm -hmm. One quick detour to the party's entrance later. Not too bad. Skid Row. Yes. That Skid Row. To our international audience again. Uh, yes, there is uh, a lot of poverty here in America. Um, uh, California is pretty bad. I know I'm one to talk. Chicago's, you know, got its own fair share of problems, too. Um, you know. Uh, but uh, if you're from overseas, get ready to see a lot of 10 cities here in the USA. And uh, please make sure you, you, you have been medically checked because there's a lot of syringes and things on the ground here in the US of A. And, well, just when you come here, 
you just be ready, okay? That's that's all that's all what you're gonna hear from good old Kit Kat from Chicago Reacts. You cannot say that you haven't been told. The graffiti looks cool though. And I yeah, it does. This party touted some featured guests, like this random guy, mm -hmm. this random guy, cool. and Sapnap. Oh, and uh, the Kid Leroy was also performing, so that was cool. Anyway, I loaded myself up on free drinks, took a few hot images, listened to the child Larry go, and that was that. Back to the house. Here they are, boys. Fucking aliens. Yeah. Okay. Back at the house, I realized we had picked well. Good. Lots of beds, yes. lots of space, and a chill as fuck balcony. Good. So, it was about 10pm, we could go to bed, or we could take those scooters right there to a nightclub. Well, that was pretty good. Good. Let's go to bed. Hey, there's a feed pick right there. That's not family friendly. That's not family friendly at all. Day two. We woke up, jumped on the balcony, and had a chill. Yeah. There were still some people who hadn't yet arrived. So once we were done stuffing our face with breakfast, Quiet guy noodle. we set off back to LAX. This is where we also got our second rental car. Mm. Another identical Toyota Sienna. One of these bad boys, legally speaking, holds seven people. But we have ten. So we were like, fuck it. Two. two. Two cars are always better than one. Hey, get off the fucking road, asshole! <laughs> Lunch. Denny's. I don't oh, guys, you could do so much better than Denny's. I only say this because I... I one time went to a Denny's, right? And... The service was very pathetic and just... Blech. Sorry, I don't want to dry heave them. I don't want to vomit. Plus, I'm drinking some good wine, and I don't want to... I don't want to spew it out, but it's just, it just... It, it wasn't it wasn't a cash money experience, okay? It just... It just, what, just it, was, it was bad. It was bad news bears. A lot of good things to say about Denny's last year, but this year, we branched out a bit and tried some of the more different items on the menu. This was a terrible mistake. Truth. Kai ordered a deep fried steak. Ugh. Arlo got this sandwich with about 18,000 layers of ham in it, and the table just generally looked unsettlingly orange. You guys should not have gone there. Ugh. Well, that was disappointing. C tier. Um, you were too generous. Martin. <clears throat> if I want to be nice, I'll give it D, but that's as far as I'll, I'll give it D. <laughs> Made myself laugh. But no, seriously, I'd, it would be D tier. There you go. Don't want to say give it D. Give it to give Denny's the D. No. Um, <clears throat> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Horrible choice of words. Horrible choice of words. Uh, but uh, no. Why you? Why would you put it C tier? Being way too nice. Now, last night was pretty fun, but that little montage we did might have oversold things a bit. Just a bit. Tonight, however, was Friday night. And it's Friday night. nights in LA tend to go pretty hard. But before going out, we'd need a solid, powerful, invigorating hype rotation. And for said hype rotation, we'd need supplies. So, we bought the essentials. Some 40-ounce bottles of beer, which are huge. Four loco, which is also huge. And rhinoceros boner pills. Ah, uh, that doesn't look like a good thing to do. Uh, let's see, one capsule for seven days. No headache. What the fuck? Listen, man. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. Do, do, don't do it. Yo, oh, that frog is staring into my soul. Yeah, we didn't buy those. Anyway, it was time to hype the fuck up. Blackjack, but drinking. Whenever someone won, they'd pour a bit of drink in this cup. That's fucking brown, man. And if someone hit blackjack, they'd have to drink it. 
But what about the dealer, you might say? Well, we thought about that too. No. If two people hit Blackjack, the dealer drinks. <laughs> Done! It's a f***ing thing! Oh, yeah. That's, That's never Jack, happening. They That's drink. never happening. Sometimes. That's 1 in 252 odds. <laughs> 1 in 252 million is f***ing idiot. Can you get... <laughs> what happened next? <laughs> okay. Ready for the double Blackjack? Ready for six of To the top, to the top. That's it, that's it. Not yeah. on the cards. And my jacket, my brother. No, on the velour. Is this velvet? All right, let's go. Drink. Cheers, boys. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> I'm, ha I'm happy, as long as he's carrying me home later. It's, it's over. over. It's over. Shake the fuck up. It's done. Meanwhile, Kai had been steadily polishing off this drink. But what was this drink? Well, take one 40 ounce of beer. Drink. Okay. 40 ounce of beer, okay, there you go. Sounds good. Half of it and fill it back to the top with four loco. <laughs> Gentlemen, behold the sidewalk slammer. And by Come on, Kai, don't do it. Don't do it, Kai. You're, you're okay, you got this. By now, Kai had finished it. And with Bye -bye. that, don't feel shit. Let's go to the club. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, it's morning again. Day three. We woke up. A guttural experience. <laughs> Who the fuck's this? <laughs> um. Well, whoever he is. Um. Well, uh, does anyone remember who that is? Uh, who the fuck is that? Well, dear viewer, that's Smelvin, our silly friend we met last night. So, uh, what actually happened last night then? Well, shortly after arriving, we met Smelvin, got a few drinks in us, Ow. and then okay. poor Kai started absolutely fighting for his life against the sidewalk slammer. It's all right. He lost. And they got sent home. It's all right. We moved on to the <laughs> next place where Sydney. Hold on. <laughs> it's all right, Kai. We've all been there before, buddy. But 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 you have your co-pilot there. You have your designated co-pilot. Just just make sure when 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 you throw up. You go, you go into the can. That's it. That's just, that's all that matters right there. See, that's friendship. That's brotherhood. Well done, gentlemen. Well done to all of you. We moved on to the next place where Sydney witnessed several domestic incidents. Hey, exactly. but once... <laughs> <laughs> I witnessed Smelvin perform an absolute blunder with a woman, and Tristan, well, he can take it from here. Look at her! Oh, prostitute card, okay. Honk, honk. <laughs> <laughs> Tristan, I'm glad I chose you as one of my heroes. Honk, honk. Anyway, that's all in the past now. What was on the agenda for today? We'd been enjoying our city boy, nightclub, bus, yes. for real, for real, 100 emoji, never seen a cow in my entire life sort of dude lifestyle. But what about America's more yee ass redneck sort of activity? Yeah! yeah. That's right, we would be partaking in the cultural institution of NASCAR. Yeah! Hell yeah, brother! I love NASCAR! <laughs> but that wouldn't be until the evening, so in the meantime... Oh watch, out, watch out for the poo. No, somebody took a dump. Yeah, uh, you know, there's an app in California, especially in Los Angeles, 
and in San Francisco and in San Diego where some crazy genius decided to put an app out there of uh, locations of human feces. You think I'm joking? I'm not. I'm the the golden era is over, folks. The world of the shit has begun. I'm so sorry. I am so so sorry. Is it yeah, just get down. Where? Ah. Fucking stop. Ooh. There is actually <laughs> breakfast. Hmm. Then picking up Nathan from the airport, who was the last to arrive, and going to Walmart. Walmart. At Walmart, we gathered very important supplies, like beer, and yes. a bit more beer. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And... Oh, no. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Fucking... White cup. Guys, be better. Sliders. I think I might kill myself. With our fridge, stocked up with all the supplies a group of 10 men could ever need, it was NASCAR time. So back in the cars, onto the highway, and into the Irwindale Speedway's enormous parking lot. A parking lot full of giant pickup trucks. That's a big old truck. By the way, hey, <clears throat> I'm proud to say, last weekend was the first time I ever went to a monster truck rally. Now, uh, maybe it's a little bit off topic, but it was so much fun. Now, as a little kid, I always wanted to go to a monster truck rally, but uh, <sighs> my mom would always be like, Kit, it's too loud. It's not my thing. Oh, you'll go next year. You'll go next year. But next year never came. And eventually, I guess I you know, just lost interest until two weeks ago. I had a friend call me up and say, hey, dude, I got some tickets to Monster Jam. You want to come? I said yes. And it was the most fun I ever had in a long time. It was a good way to end February. It was a lot of fun. I saw Grave Digger. Grave Digger did, it did, did like a backflip. It was awesome. 10 out of 10 life-changing event. It was great. Awesome. I'll never forget it. I I I had fun at the Monster Truck Rally. It, it was it was great. It was great. And I hope I hope someday to go to another one in the future. Oops. And a large number of Americans who um uh, you know, like Inside the complex itself, they played the national anthem, and everyone, literally everyone, stopped what they were doing, put their hands on their hearts, and listened. Which we thought was pretty odd. And before we knew it, it was time to watch some cars drive in circles. And oh boy, did they do just that. Yes! Come on, boy! Playing chess at NASCAR. I, I, I slap that phone out of your hand, boy. <laughs> Damn, I'm tucking out from all these races. I could really do with some. Wait, what? Do you hear that? Oh my god, it's the, it's the gummy bear song, and they're giving out gummy bears! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, NASCAR time was over, but this event wasn't just NASCAR. Mm -hmm. It was also a demolition derby. And fellas, it was derby time. The VLC media player car one. Anyway, I guess we should go home. Wait a minute. What the hell is that? Is that. That's a fucking rhinoceros! Yes! Get him! Okay, surely that's the end of the event. No, fireworks, boy! Okay, that's enough. Let's go home. You know what I notice is that, like, most Americans are fucking obese. Well, that was fun. Yeah, it's the food, man. I mean. Yeah, it's true, man. 
That's why you got to have a dedicated regime of working out and avoiding food. Like I like here's the thing. I really try and read all I like read all through the labels and there's a lot of stuff I don't buy because everything is filled with freaking sugar here. So to my international audience, if you're not addicted to that white sugar, you will be if you come here. So read all the labels. There's sugar. It's that white stuff, that white powder, that good, good stuff. It's in our food, all of our food. There's no walking around it, so you got to be very careful. A tier. So, what next? Well, we could go home, cook up dinner, Excuse have me. an early night, and be refreshed and ready to take on tomorrow. Or, nightclub. Sydney was gracious enough to be our designated sober driver, but only Sydney. So we only had one car. Gentlemen, I present to you the clown car. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Are we back in the wall? No. Uh, hold on a minute, guys. Guys, what's what, what's going on, guys? Whoa. Oh. Okay, what's going on here? Guys, where are you? Guys, guys, I think we're. Oh. Now this is family-friendly content right here, my lovelies. Go to the wrong place, guys. <laughs> guys, there is a very suspicious woman here, please. Guys, guys. Now it's perfectly fine. I trust her. Come on. She's a strong, independent woman. I trust her. Well, no vacancy. I'm Miss Angie, and it's my job to show you the vacancy. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, uh, all right. What? Hey, that's our boy Kai. Hold on. Yeah. There you go. Oh boy, that the one the one one right here. Hold on. Let's see if we get the arrow. No, we can't get the arrow on her, but uh There you go. There there's our boy Kai. That's right, represent the three letter names. Glorious. Day four began, and we woke up. This was a rather unpleasant experience. Mm. Our breakfast today was a classic American. Ugh, guys, come on. Listen, you talk about how Americans are going to be beasts. You're going to be so fat you will be able to get on your plane ride home, okay? Having those lucky charms. Cereal, lucky charms. And Seamus had come up with a brilliant combination to cure his hangover. Sometimes artistic expression requires genius. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> You're not the first to come up with that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not ingenious, my friend. Oh, fuck, God, Kite. Beautiful! Get in there, get in there, mate. Get a big heaping spoon for this. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Don't worry about it, mate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I just... Don't ask how I know how that feels. It's just... Oh, when I was younger. When I was younger, I was just stupid. <laughs> the rest of the guys had some bacon and eggs, and we made sure to tip all of the bacon grease down the sink for the sink gnomes to eat. Mmm. Yum. 
Oh. Speaking of sync gnomes, does anyone remember in this video where I mentioned the six-way, all stop sign intersection in Beverly Hills? Okay. No. Why not? Well, there's an intersection in Beverly Hills that is six ways and all stop signs, which we thought was such a curious piece of traffic engineering that we collectively decided, fuck it, Beverly Hills is pretty close, let's check it out. So, we loaded okay. up in the cars and drove to Beverly Hills. Now, uh, n no offense, I, I did not watch the Skylines video. Oh boy. I think the frog... No. Okay, the frog wouldn't come to my house. Okay, I'm safe. I think I'm safe. But don't tell the frog. I did not watch the video. The drive there was quite an interesting experience. You see, Hollywood is quite dire. Lots of homelessness, lots yes. of crime, lots of crackheads, and lots yeah. of funky smells. Yes. But just a few miles down the road, things had changed drastically. The dirt and grime was gone. The homelessness was gone. The hedges were getting taller. The roads were quieter and wider. The cars were nicer. The roads were lined with flowers. And the houses were absolutely huge. Fucking bullshit. Yeah, boo. What do you mean no poop zone? This is America. We shit wherever we want. You know what? I'm forming a protest. We're going to Beverly Hills and we're going to take a collective community dump right there. Gentlemen, we had arrived in the quiet streets of Beverly Hills. Three, two, one, go! go, 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 go. How are they so much faster than us? Because I'm in the back seat. Tristan's, Tristan's a fat bastard. Yeah. Beverly Hills was like a completely different city. A completely different city with very questionable traffic management. Case in point, the intersection. Of course, we parked up and examined it more closely on foot. Wow. This place is just weird. So as you can see, we are in a business meeting right now. Yes. Mm. Oh, good over there. Yeah. It's pretty Dave over here as well. Huh? Nearby was also this nice park, so we checked that out too. My horny ass could not tend a koi garden. <laughs> No, Someone throw a rock at it. I've never seen that animal before. Oh, Alright. Well, I'd say we'd seen a good amount of the rich area. Now, back to the crackheads. What? Oh. Leave the crackheads alone. Come on. I need you bad, man. Gentlemen, we were going to Santa Monica Pier. Once again, like last year, it was full of curious characters. Fringes. Put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, there we go. Put it, put it in the JC, man. But I trust the emperor. Street no, performers right now, that took so long time. to do their performance that yes, we got bored and left. Come around and collect your money. Yeah. 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 Oh, those records and this cat backpack thing. Oh no, that poor animal. Okay, that's pretty cool. At the end of the pier, we sat down and watched the sunset. Well, that was Jill. You're a pretty bird. So, we went back to the cars, and I completely forgot to visit the wall shit spot again. Oh. Damn. Yeah, there we go. Scene of the crime. So, my sons and I made a pilgrimage to a pil pilgrimage from Australia to see the spot uh, where the random guy projectile shat on the wall in that Martin Pseudopants video. Geolocation was successful, and we marked it as a shrine. Uh, time well spent. Scene of the crime. Martin Sido <laughs> Hey, the frog has clout. The frog has clout. Speaking of wall shits. I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Taco Bell. Hey, who's taking a piss? Dude. <laughs> Once again, it turns out that Taco Bell is actually pretty good. Well, it's not even that bad. Yeah. How's that face? <laughs> It's actually so good. <laughs> I like Taco Bell. S tier. Ah! Correct choice. Taco Bell, after all, won the fast food wars. Okay. Well, let's go to bed. Yes. Make it happen. Come on. You know, I've been in Hollywood only once. Just stayed there for like maybe t two or three days. 
It was a long time ago, but uh, it was a nice part too, by the way. Not Beverly Hills, but you know, just just a nice part of it. And uh, I pray for the day when Hollywood is no more. But that's the story for another day. Day five. We woke up feeling fine. <laughs> kind of crazy that not getting shit faced results in better sleep. Today was our last day in LA, and we'd noticed something disturbing. All of our phones had a severe lack of hard photos. To remedy this, I have scouted a location and come up with a plan. The Hollywood sign. But before that, we need to fuel ourselves with some breakfast at Burger King. Mm. This particular Burger King had a crackhead outside, which is all- Oh boy. Ah. Uh... Always a good sign. And the food was actually pretty good. Yeah, oh, Burger Jr. is pretty good. A tier. There you go. With our bodies fueled up and back in the cars, on we drove to the Hollywood sign and past this Scientologist center. My favorite YouTuber, Martin Cito Pants, he's a fucking Scientologist. He's a fucking Scientologist? He acts Dianetic as fuck. Ah. Uh, he has type 3 Dianetics. Yeah. <laughs> and before we knew it, the hard photo. There you go. Turtle. You can never go wrong with a Ninja Turtle t shirt. I'd give the Hollywood sign. A B tier. Mm. But you know what? I think we need more hard photos. And where else to get more hard photos than a museum full of cars? Ooh. Like this one. And this one. And, uh. Yeah. Lots of cars. My personal favorites were this car for Soviet leaders, this ah. particular steel ball that did nothing significant whatsoever, and this <laughs> thing. What, what yeah, is that? A car. Well, that's a good amount of hard photos. Food time. Carl Jr. Carl's Jr. was pretty generic. I'm gonna kill my We are currently out of fried tea. But also pretty good. So we decided on B tier. Carl Jr. Okay, you know what? I think we might just need more hard photos. See, hey, he just weren't doing it for us. Okay. We liked a certain amount of drip. A certain amount of drip we could acquire from these vintage stores. Tristan found this. Oh, oh that's pretty badass. <laughs> oh, da, 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 da. And I found this Daytona jacket. Glorious. With our drip firmly secured, we left the store and began heading back to the cars. That was until we spotted a familiar face across the road. Yay! What the fuck? What the fuck, Ray? Oh, let's go, let's go. <laughs> no, why are you guys here? <laughs> and what this the? time, he was with a woman. Let's fucking go, Smelvin! Yeah! Then we went to the group. Smelvin! With a lady. 10 out of 10. Shout out to Smelvin, man. You might have woke up to him in, in, in your bed, but you realized that that man was a heart stealer, a player, a winner. 10 out of 10, a life-changing friend. Griffith Observatory. Well, where do we at the Griffith Observatory? <laughs> well, where do we at the, at the well, Griffith <laughs> Observatory? Oh, but his eyes are uh, weird. <laughs> where do we at the Griffith Observatory? <laughs> Griffith Observatory, eh, C tier. Literally, what? Back now it was time for dinner. And so the local Italian, Simon, got to work. Simon, give us some Italian food. Army <laughs> Arguing with Tim about how to cook the pasta. A situation. Made pasta sauce. There is no place to cook the pasta. Deal me in, man. Right idea. Oh, look at that. 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 Look that there is no place to cook the Okay. I have an idea. Oh, look at that. Boiling water in the bowls. Fuck that. No. Beautiful. And then the sauce in the pot, and then the boiling water in the pot after. No! What's what? That's technically a hate crime, so I would not dilute the sauce with water. What is wrong with you? Four. Four. What the fuck are you talking about? No. 
Just, just, that's, that's not a big deal, bro. That's, big that's deal. okay. That's we can deal. reboil water. <laughs> Why don't you freeze it as well so we can use boiling water later? Right, just fuck it. Don't you put that boiling water in the pasta sauce. We need a few minutes. No, stop, stop, just stop. Stop. Right down, down the sink. Just pour. What are you do? I'm not mad. I'm furious because this is technically a hate crime we're witnessing here. Pour it down the sink. Pour it down the sink. Look, dinner was yum. We got there in the end. It was a bit of a struggle, but it was yum. Now, we needed more supplies. Supplies that we would be able to get from this very normal, totally ordinary corner store that sold tasers. Oh, that's beautiful. Naturally, we tased Sydney. I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna fucking eat it. I'm gonna fucking eat it. What the yeah. fuck? Sadly, only one of the barbs made a proper connection. So to actually get tased, he had to touch the other barb on the floor. <laughs> this just wouldn't do. So we stepped it up a notch. Alright, take it easy. Damn! Go, go, go. Alright, in the back, in the back, in the back. This is around the time when we noticed a newcomer entering the building. A tall, intense looking dude with a big scar on his cheek. We told him we just taste Sydney and he went. Hmm. He then began talking with the shopkeeper. He bought himself a police scanner got a little tutorial on how to use it from the shopkeeper and left okay don't ask any more questions you just leave them alone uh right overall that shop s tier ah! but you know what isn't s tier the white castle sliders sitting in the freezer why would you buy those this was our last night after all, and they probably wouldn't survive three plus hours of driving in the hot car tomorrow. So, reluctantly, we opened them up, defrosted them, stacked them like bricks to create the true White Castle. Fucking, you're the king of the White Castle, Papa. <laughs> and ate. These were, no exaggeration, the worst pieces of frozen food I have ever had the di- Why would you do that? Ugh. Plus, you're gonna make us smelly shit afterwards, too. Listen! I know, we all know the jokes about eating White Castle for a hangover, right? But you know you but but you know what you're gonna be making. That brown that you're gonna be dropping is gonna be very smelly. Displeasure of consuming. I know. Fuck me, God. that is not good. <laughs> and Seamus thought so too. <laughs> Why the fuck would you do that? Why the Bro. fuck would you throw that at the window? It was white castle. <laughs> <laughs> this really made me think, man, Americans have it rough when it comes to food. No wonder they have a reputation for looking like... Yeah, no duh. Come on. There's sugar in our food. Are you just learning this now? Yes, my friend. But don't worry. Chicago, we got good cuisine. We got good food here. If you ever come to Chicago, Martin, Get shout out to your Chicago connection and we'll hook you up. This. F tier. Again. Anyway, tomorrow we'd be traveling to the lake house. So we got in bed. And slept. Mm. Day six. Traveling to the Alpine Lake House in Big Bear Lake. We'd been having such a good time in LA that leaving it set a cloud of melancholy over us. Mm. We bid farewell to the LA house and set off for the mountains. Any last words? Last words. Come to North Harbin Boulevard. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. 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 I reckon squirrel would taste so good, but you have to eat like ten at a time. Once we'd made our way out of LA, the scenery got substantially prettier. Lads, this is beautiful. Yeah, it is. But you know what this place here needs desperately? A Walmart. Mm. Oh, well, look at that. In you know what? There's a lot of love to Walmart, but you know what? Why don't you give a little shout out to Costco, okay? Just saying. Give some love to Costco.
Walmart, we bought more food and supplies for our 10 hungry tum tums, like goobers. Look, Gooba. They got you in a job, bro. I fucking love Gooba. I'm a Gooba. Yeah. And, uh. Bro. Brother Warren. Mm. Oh, okay. Well. Okay, there you go. Back on the road, we had begun ascending into the mountains, and the scenery was getting pleasant of and pleasant of. Up here, we could look down into the valley and see the vast sprawl that is LA. Well, we would have been able to see LA if it wasn't for the pungent, thick, juicy layer of smog covering all of it. Wonderful. I give LA smog an F tier. And what do you know? Big Bear Lake. All right, we've seen him now. Let's go to Vegas. All right, we're done. Okay, there you go. All right. What were we actually doing here? Well, I wanted to go to a lake house since it seems chill, but mm -hmm. why specifically Big Bear Lake? Well, during the planning phase of this trip, I heavily relied on Google Maps. Mm -hmm. I'd scour the map, look around, use the 3D view, use Street View, and generally look at my computer and go, hmm. While looking over Big Bear Lake, I spotted an intriguing town nearby. Not Big Bear, but a far smaller one to its north. Okay. <laughs> Not too bad. Touche. I thought to myself, eh, show the boys, and they went, eh, and the rest is history. Glorious. <laughs> Hold on. Somebody pulled out the... Hey, a lot of guys pulled out their weighing bones. Well done. Well done to all of you. Well, this was nice. Okay, I'm bored. Pelican time. I give pellet gun time an S tier. Yes. Well, that was fun. Time for lunch. Jack in the box. Mm. Jack in the box is always the best. Respect the clown. Just kind of. Eh. So, C tier. Okay. Say, say that, say it to Jack. Say it to his face. Say it to his face. Martin, you gotta say that to his face. So say it to Jack. Back to the cabin. All right, in here we got the games room. Oh, I say, how we doing, boys? Martin's just chilling. Yeah, we're, we're observing the natural habitat of ten Australians in America. Each, hold on, we're, we're noticing first one of the males is. Curiously trying to get more resources for the rest of the tribe. The pack leader looks cautiously into the wilderness, wondering what threats will face his tribe. But nonetheless, he is resilient and resolved. He knows that the frog spirit will guide him. But how many will die on the journey? And how many must they kill to survive? Martin's just chilling. <laughs> Okay, I'm bored again. It's boat time. Yes. Oh. <laughs> boat time consisted of driving the boat, seeing the Big Bear Lake Solar Observatory, which Ooh. takes photos like this, seeing cool. these helicopters for some reason. Oh, they're after the frog. And doing boat burnouts. I give boat time A tier. Oh, there it you was go. good. There you okay, go. for real this time, let's go back to the cabin and the boys want to check out the town. Okay, well, we still had two cars, so Tristan, Nathan, and I hopped in one of them and. He got the Goosebumps song playing. Love it. Took it back home. While the boys were enjoying themselves looking at various funky stores like the Boneyard, yes. we were at home freaking the fuck out because of the smell. Yes. 
we scrambled to do what we could. We opened all the windows, checked everywhere for the source of the leak. We frantically tried to get a draft going, but to no avail. Boys, there was a gas leak in the house. Fuck me dead. Shit is so fuck. No. Guys, I'm fucking sorry. Huh? House blow up. Fuck out of here. No. Yeah, that didn't happen. That's twice I fell for a trick. Okay. <laughs> house blew up. <laughs> well, the gas leak did happen, but the house didn't blow up. We just opened all the windows, turned the stove off, and it was fine. And with that devilish prank completed, burgers, yeah. and bed. Good. Day seven. Nothing. Literally fuck all. We sat around the cabin, drank beer. Would you rather have your dick hang loaded in your balls? Or your balls hang loaded in your dick? And went to bed. <laughs> the struggle of life. <laughs> Day eight. Our time at Big Bear Lake had come to an end. And today we'd be plunging deeper into the American West, on the way to the Grand Canyon. Keen to hit the road, we packed everything back into the cars, uh, did a final check of the house, good. and breakfast. El pollo loco. The crazy. Oh, for a minute there, I thought we had a Breaking Bad reference there. The chicken. To me, the crazy chicken is just the normal chicken. Inside this fine establishment, we ordered our food. Olo got a wonderful new name. Oh. Lar. Law, <laughs> and we ate. Shockingly, it was very good. We also checked their stock price for some. Oh. Whoa! Well, now's the time to buy, and maybe it'll shoot up. For some reason, it's pretty crazy. Let me tell you, it's good. And so we bestowed upon it our greatest honor S tier. <laughs> the road to the Grand Canyon. You know, I might want to buy a share of that. Maybe. Maybe. It was long, especially because we wanted to go through Joshua Tree National Park and have a gander at the Joshua Trees. In total, we had over six hours on the road ahead of us, so we swallowed the burritos whole and piled back into the Siennas. Joshua Tree National Park goes hard. Oceans of small shrubs with these huge, rocky mountains jutting out, and of course, Joshua Trees. Glorious. Naturally, we had to check it out. And also piss. Group pissing session starts now. Men who piss together stay together. What? It's true. Come on, man. Guy code. Fellas are pissing. Fucking piss central here, bro. On this desert road, we learned many things. Like the car's top speed on Google is wrong. The US military just be doing stuff in the desert. They're following you. With VTOL aircraft for some reason. Fuck, oh, that's so cool. The desert's pretty cool, and um... That's a bug right there. Ooh. Where? Right there. Just move it with a stick, you fucking moron. Uh, yeah, that's it. Before long, the desert road had given way to the Colorado River. And over the other side of it, Arizona. Arizona. Just in time for lunch at Wendy's. Hold on, get ready to uh, go over the prices, because Wendy's decided to F around with their prices. London Bridge in Arizona. <laughs> You're what? I'm bloody losing my marbles. Why is this man is losing his mind? Now, to be blunt, Wendy's was, uh, uh, it was bad. The food was dry, the chips were bad, the nuggets were bad, and they misspelled almost everyone's names. Yo! Halo? Shamus. Tristan. And, uh, Bonald. Bonald. Who the fuck is Bonald? Who is Fucking freaking redhead. Just bad. Hundred Redheads are fun, but cooking? Terrible. No offense to our redhead audience. 50 miles of chill as fuck road later, we'd reached our next destination. Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Will you stop it with the Walmart? Why don't you check out Costco? <laughs> Inside, Simon found some curious products. It's called the free... Piece tactical kit, Ooh. torch, pliers, and a fucking knife. What, what, what do you What do you need this for? Uh, three piece tactical to be tactical in America. It's like you're you're like in the dark trying to fix something on your car, and there's a fucking bear attacking you. 
<laughs> well, one of the cars was at Walmart making important purchases for our hungry tum-tums. The car I was driving made its way to Big Five Sporting Goods. Mm. We were here to have a look at their wares, and their wares did not disappoint. Wait a second. This is, this is just Walmart. That's right, more shotguns. And, uh... Okay, back to the road. And nighttime. Night driving is chill. Finally, we had reached the dirt track. She's a bit bumpy. And before we knew it, we had arrived at the Grand Canyon Shack. First things first, let's examine our wares. You know, the usual bits of food like some mints and a bit of spaghetti and uh, mm -hmm. three right, BB guns. Go. A SIG MCX, a lever action thing. Yes. And a Glock. There you go, get ready to shoot that Glock. I gotta say, BB guns make for exceptional props. Hmm, not real guns. Huh, that kind of gives me an idea here. Gives me an idea for the future. Careful. Yippee! Then dinner and, oh no, the person logged into this TV isn't subscribed to me. Hey, subscribe. What are we gonna do? Yeah! Now we here at Chicago Reacts, we are subscribed. And be sure to hit that ring bell notification and like and share and all the content from Martin Siddlepants or he will. Knock on your door. And if you're in the Chicago area and you're not, we might get a ring, ring, ring from the frog. And say, hey, I need you to regulate. And we'll handle that Alphonse Capone style. Just remember. You better subscribe. Yeah. Anyway, it was bedtime. Exactly. Bedtime would bring us to one of this house's special surprises. The stack. Day nine. I call dibs on top bunk. So, why were we here in bumfuck nowhere Arizona in the first place? The answer may shock you. Grand Canyon. So, one breakfast, shoot a BB gun, and get into the car later, we were on the road to the Southern Rim. This is where we discovered something truly unnerving. A roundabout. Oh my god. Oh my god. Roundabout. Seriously, we hadn't seen a single roundabout the entire time we'd been in America. And I knew a couple of places where it would make a lot of sense. You know, like it would make a lot of sense. We arrived in the parking lot. Found a squirrel. Mm -hmm. took the joke seriously. Please, please, please. And walked over to the edge of the South Rim. Damn. It's pretty grand. <laughs> nah, all is better. Alright, we weren't just here to look at it, we were here to walk. So we started walking. Enjoy your journey. That's the thing about enjoying with your friends. You're hanging out, making memories, and more importantly, living life. Live life to the fullest, folks. Trust me on it. Put down the iPad, put down the smartphone, and try and live it. We're only here once, and then that's it. We're gone. Trust me on it. These are lessons that we all learn. And even though we go through them a couple of times, just remember, life is short and life is precious. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it.
Someone had to bust ass. Going down was fairly easy, and we reached the bottom in a little over two hours. Going down is fairly easy? That's what she said. Hooray! Hooray! And this is where I surprise the boys with a little treat. Instead of having to walk all the way back up, we were gonna... Hey, 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 where are you going? Hey, hey, get back here! <laughs> there goes our ride. What the fuck are we gonna do? Back, oh, man. Shit. And so, the ascent began. Very, very the ascent, no surprise, was much, much harder than the descent. This wasn't helped by our insistence of ascending as fast as we could. Chat shit again, mate. So up we went. Can't hear you. Climb. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. Oh, I'm still going. Tell me that is not fucking every colour you could imagine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the animals there like, huh? First time here, humans? Get out of here. Good day, mister. Normal day at the office. And an hour and 50 minutes later, Tristan and I had reached the top. Good. A bit further down, however, were Sydney and Harrison. Day 145, walking through the Grand Canyon. Oh. We are lost. There is no one in sight. We are almost at the ridge. We are running low on water and nut bars. <laughs> and the squirrels are starting to look tempting. Once all of us had collected <laughs> at the top, we watched the last bit of sunset. Found this railway, took a few silly ones, and bought ourselves some yummy pizza. Ooh. I give the Grand Canyon an S tier. Never been to the Grand Canyon, but someday, not today. Back home, we watch some important items on the TV. Not porn. <laughs> really? Why is it blurred? Like, uh, tweaker compilations. It's, do you enjoy this? I love all of these. And slowly drifted to sleep. Nathan, while outside, took these very nice photos of the clear night sky. Oh. And Simon, of course, captured some dastardly ones while we were vulnerable. And with that, back to the stack and sleep. <laughs> it's funny. Ladies, you wouldn't understand. It's, well, wait, actually, ladies, I think you would understand. I mean, <clears throat> never mind. <laughs> Day 10. We arose from the stack and discovered something incredible outside. Can you guess what it was? I bet you weren't thinking solar eclipse. I'm dead serious. We had literally not planned for this even a little bit, but as luck would have it, the Arizona shack was directly in the eclipse's path. Whoa! I looked up and- <laughs> Even though most of the sun was obscured, it still looked like the sun. But using okay. some quick thinking and several pairs of sunglasses, we created this. The sun looks like the moon. <laughs> That's because well, that's they're both, they're both right there. <laughs> Didn't Donald Trump a while ago, like when he was still president, then he looked like at the solar eclipse or something like that? <laughs> Look at this fool. Oh yeah, I can see it. It's fucking pretty can, cool, oh, right? It's only like a tiny bit of the sun covered, though. Yeah, well, it's, it's getting warm. Ah! The eclipse was a partial solar eclipse, hmm. meaning the moon wouldn't be fully covering the sun. About 200 miles away, however, the sun looked like this. Ooh. Being under the eclipse was strange. Of course, it never went completely dark, but it did get pretty cold. Ooh, and not to mention, break. shadows. It was odd to think that there were probably thousands of people all around us, many of them having no idea this was happening above them right now. Passenger train during the solar eclipse. Oh. Boy, what the hell? What the hell? Boy? There we are. What the fuck? That's actually pretty cool. That is crazy. I, mean, I think it's going away now. Then we shot the sun. Wait, we're showing it! Stop resisting! I give the eclipse an S tier. There you go. Today we had absolutely nothing planned, so we spent the entire day shooting the BB guns. Literally all day. Three, two, one. Good. 
Nice. We started nice. with about 3,000 BBs and ended with zero. S tier. Perfect. I love BB guns. Shane Perfect. Got this nice view of the sunset. We cooked some questionable looking lasagna for dinner. And that was that. Back to the statue. That's brotherhood love right and there. Bed dog. Tomorrow was going to be an early one, because we were going to our final destination, Las Vegas. Time to gamble, boys! Spend all your money, spend it at the casino, make your money disappear. And to the South Point 400 NASCAR race. Next up. Yes. Thanks to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. Use code COMBAT, get your walking around money, and uh... Cool. And be sure to subscribe. As we should. So, oh, okay. So apparently there's going to be a part two where they go to Vegas. And you know what happens in Vegas. It stays in Vegas unless it's uploaded onto YouTube. And there you'll see crackheads, meth heads, ladies of the evening, ladies of the night, strippers, gamblers, addicts, mafia people, celebrities, and all sorts of other things that gleam and shine and pine in the Las Vegas city skyline thing, as they should. But seriously, it's good to see Martin Pseudopants back in America. Next time you come to America, check out maybe the East Coast. Come to the Midwest, of course. Check out Chicago if you ever get the chance to. More than happy to uh, host or have the frog and give it the acknowledgement that it's long overdue. So until then, until then. Uh, first of all, folks, look, a lot of time, effort, and energy is made into making these videos here, and we here at Chicago Reacts ask all of you to please support the original content creator. I don't want to get a knock at the door and the frog putting six shots into me and then saying, hey, I count two guns and putting another six shots in me. We're not going to have that. So as always, we here at Chicago Reacts encourage you to support the frog. Follow Martin Zito Pants on all the social media. The original link's in the description box below. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. How would you feel about this adventure this time around? He didn't visit the shrine. I think that's a, a horrible mistake. Perhaps he'll rectify that the next time he comes to America. Or either that, maybe in the video, he, he goes back to the shrine and gives it a proper acknowledgement. Uh, but also, by the way, to our international audience, number one, yes, there's a lot of poverty here in America. Number two, the food will make you obese. Number three, read the labels because there's a lot of sugar in our stuff. Number four, you will be addicted to that white sugar when you come to America. Number five, guns are cool. Guns are awesome. So as always, have fun and be safe. Uh, number six, um, Smelvin's a pimp. Holy cow. He he lucked out. He he missed out with one lady, but got another lady. So he he was in the win. Ten out of ten. Life changing friendship right there. Second of all, or finally, the last of them all. Just stay awesome. Drink water. Keep being cool as you should, you hip cool cats. My name is Kit. This has been Chicago Reacts. And we have to say this. Enjoy life. Live it. We're only here once. Oh,